Hello grade 8 students, in this video we are going to continue with our digestion chapter part 5 talking about the enzymes. So first, let's remember the neutral, the acidic and the basic. We said that the neutral, the pH is approximately 7, it ranges between 6.5 and 7. Acidic, where the pH is less than 7. And here is the acidic. Whenever we move away from the 7, it's going to be the strong acid. For example, 1 and 2, they are strong acid. While 5 and 6, they are weak acids. Wherever basic, basic the pH, it's greater than 7. So as we move away from the 7 to 14 and 13, these are strong bases, like the household bleach and the hand soap, for example. However, the human blood, pH 7.4, it's considered as a weak base. While human urine is a weak acid, since it's less than 7, but it's near to the 7. So it's less than, less than 7, so it's acidic, but it's near to the 7, so it's weak acid. However, the gastric juice, pH equal to 2, so it's away from 7. So it's a strong acid. Keep in mind that digestive juices, except the bile, they contain enzymes. So all of them, they contain enzymes except the bile, which is created by the liver. So enzymes, they are biological scissors, like a scissor, but they are biological scissors. They cut, they break down, they digest, and they transform or hydrolyze the food. All of them, they have the same meaning digestion of food. So these enzymes, they are recognized as a catalyst. What well, the meaning of this? This catalyst, it speeds up the reaction of digestion. It makes the digestion process faster, but it will remain unchanged. The quantity of this enzyme will remain the same at the end of the reaction of the digestion. So moving to this table, this table is very important. Already we started with this table, starting with the first table. We started about digestive glands, organs, digestive juices, enzymes, substrate, product, medium, and the temperature. As you notice here, all the temperature, they are 37 degrees Celsius. What does this mean? This is the normal body temperature and the enzymes, they can act. They're mostly, they are optimum temperature which is meaning the best temperature in the mouth we have a gland which is called salivary gland the salivary gland it secretes a juice it's called saliva this juice contains an enzyme called salivary amylase so salivary amylase it works on a specific substrate we call it the starch so salivary amylase works on starch to give maltose. The medium is a neutral where the pH is approximately 7. And the temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. So this is the saliva as we said before. It's found inside the mouth and it contains the enzyme salivary amylase that digests the starch to give maltose. That's why. If we put a piece of bread inside our mouth, this piece will become sweet in taste due to the change into milk. Second, inside the stomach, we have a special gland called gastric gland. It secretes a special juice called gastric juice. It contains the enzyme pepsin that works on protein to give peptide. And the medium is acidic, so the pH is less than 7. And sure, temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. So here, the stomach, we have a special formula. We have the triple P. P, P, P. Pepsin, start with the letter P. Protein, start with the letter P. Peptide, start with the letter P. So pepsin works on protein to give peptide so it's p p p protein is the complex form of protein while peptide is the intermediate so here we have the ph level of the stomach 
the stomach resting pH is about 4 to 5. After high protein, it drops to 1 to 2. Now, let's move to pancreas. Contains a juice. It's called peptidase. So, any word that ends with the A's, A-S-E, from now on, it's going to be an enzyme. Like the case amylase. So, it's also an enzyme. Peptidase, as its name indicates, peptidase, it digests peptide. So, into amino acid, which is the simplest form of protein. Here, the medium is basic. So, meaning that pH is greater than... 7 and the temperature is 37 degrees celsius as you notice here only the mouth and the stomach they are not basic while the rest all of them they are basic only the mouth is neutral and only the stomach is acidic while the rest all of them they work in a basic medium so this is the pancreas and secretes the pancreatic also the pancreas secrete pancreatic juice in the pancreatic juice, we have other enzymes called trypsin. So it works on a protein to give amino acids. So we we'll move from the complex form to the simplest form of protein. Amino acid, medium is basic, temperature 37 degrees Celsius. Also the pancreas, it has a special juice, pancreatic juice, contains an enzyme amylase. Wait a minute. Amylase, we heard about this before. Here it's another amylase, salivary amylase. The salivary amylase, it works inside the mouth. So the medium is neutral. While this amylase, it works at the level of the small intestine. Okay, where it works also in starch to give maltose. But the medium here is basic. While here the medium is neutral and always temperature is 37 degrees. Salicious. So, pancreas at the level of the small intestine secretes pancreatic juice. This juice contains another enzyme called lipase. So, it ends with the word ase. Lipase. It works on lipids to give fatty acids and glycerol. So, here lipase and digest lipids to give fatty acids and the glycerol. So the medium is basic and temperature 37 degrees Celsius. As you see here, lipase works on lipids. For example, peptidase, it works on peptides. And lipase, we have liver, secretes juice, it contains bile. Wait a minute, here we don't have an enzyme. Oh, we remember the note. The bile is the only juice that contain no enzyme. So what is the role of the bile? It works on lipids, but it doesn't digest lipids and fatty acid and glycerol. It leads to emulsification of lipids. So it digests or it cuts or it breaks down the lipids into small pieces. These are called emulsified lipids. Medium is basic and temperature is 37. So for lipase to digest the lipids into fatty acid, we need the action of bile so now let's move also to the level of the small intestine but we are going to move to the gland which is called the intestinal gland intestinal gland it has special juice it's called intestinal juice this intestinal juice have an enzyme called sucrase so it ends with the word ace it ends with ace so it's an enzyme, sucrase, it works on sucrose to give what? What are the products? Glucose and fructose. The medium is basic, pH greater than 7 and temperature it's 37 degrees Celsius. So sucrose, it digests sucrose into, this is sucrose, it's a glucose plus fructose so the green one is glucose and the violet one is fructose while intestinal gland at the level of the small intestine they secrete a juice also called intestinal juice that contains the enzyme maltase so it adds word ace maltase 
it works on maltose the product or the medium is basic but the product is going to be glucose and glucose all of you you know that maltose is going to be digested at the level of the small intestine so it will give final product to glucose molecule medium basic meaning that the temperature is 37 and the basic pH greater than 7 as you see all the temperature they are 37 it's the optimum temperature it's the best temperature for the working of the enzymes so here maltose by the enzyme maltase this is the reaction it gives two glucose glucose and glucose while also at the level of the small intestine we have intestinal gland secreted juice which is called intestinal juice that contains the enzyme lactase lactase it works on what on lactose so they are very simple sucrase works on sucrose maltase works on maltose lactase it works on lactose and these you already we studied them that lactose when it's digested it can give the glucose and galactose medium basic pH greater than 7, temperature 37 degrees. Seven. So here, lactose by the enzyme lactase, it can give glucose and galactose. Okay, so this is what is known by the action of the enzyme lactase. Finally, we have intestinal glands, intestinal juice, and they have the enzyme lipase works on lipids also to give fatty acid and glycerol where the medium is basic and temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. this is another lipase so, so this is the process of the emulsification of fats emulsification of fats is done by the action of the bile bile can digest the fats the large lipid molecules into smaller one these smaller ones they can be digested by the action of lipase so lipase break down small particles small fats into glycerol and fatty acid while lipase can digest the large fat and here is the importance of bile bile it can cause the emulsification it causes the segregation or separation of large into smaller ones so that they can be digested easily by lipase into fatty acids and glycerol thank you all bye bye